everyone. Welcome to the Waking Up With Plants podcast. And today, a really big message, a really precious one. I'm feeling quite humbled by everything that came through. And if you feel like you could do with a break, I invite you to, to drop everything for a moment and stop and settle into the space of this message. It's a real antidote for any overwhelm that you might experience. Today's topic is about the unknown and this topic was brought forward by the plant realm. I got a happy reminder that these creations are a collaboration. I was focused on the idea of gathering topics, our topics, yours and mine's, to bring to the plant realm. And today I got opened up that the plants have their own wish list as well. Things that they want to speak on. And this one feels very timely. A bit about the coming forth of this episode. As I tapped into what plant wanted to speak on the unknown, lavender came in and, and I pulled back to be honest. Uh, because for the Patreon community we... We travel with the plant spirits and lavender came in as a guide for the coming moon cycle starting next week. And I had just traveled deeply with them. Beautiful journey working with the brain and spinal fluid. Teachings on that. And when I sat down for this episode and I saw lavender standing there again, I felt, I felt a fair reaction of can I do it? Am I able to tune in with yet another layer of this magnificent being? Like with any relationship that touches us deeply, right? There are these thresholds of, do I trust enough to go, to go here? So this felt beautifully linked into previous, the previous episode where Peppermint shared around readiness, the flipping of am I able to I am able. And I said yes, and I'm happy because it feels important to share this with you. And Lavender is showing, I'm going to say herself now, because she feels more feminine to me in this moment, showing herself as a warrior a freedom warrior and I hear this song of uh, true colors true your true colors shining through that's what a vision right for a plant that is known for relaxing effects but what makes this effect what makes relaxation yeah True colors shining through, maybe, huh? Well, let's let's dive in. I will read to you the question and Lavender's answer. As we start something new, whether it being the start of a new day, of a meeting, a job, a relation, an intention, a new life phase, we enter new lands and we have to deal with a level of unknown. Can you give us some insights on how you view this to help us meet the unknown? And here's Lavender's answer. I like the word meet here, as in to look in the eye, truly and truthfully. Feet on the ground, ready to face what is unknown. Without compromise, diversions, defense, in surrendered state. This courage, the honesty to admit what you don't know, immediately grounds you down in the moment. For those of you listening, where are you running in your life? Where do you feel there's no option to stop? To throw your hands in the air and relax? To set up camp in the middle of busyness and have a cup of tea like there's not a care in the world? 
I invite you to have such a cup with me, even if the state of alertness might take a while to melt. This option has never left you, you know, to be without a care in the world, to rest in the knowingness that all is truly well, even amidst adversity. Sit with me here and look at me however you envision me. Concentrate on my colour. Feel it on your skin. I am here, I am real, and I am well. How can that be? Because I don't hold adversity, busyness in my truth. I can see it around me playing out, but, it, but my core rests deep in the ground. So, travel with me downwards where my colours turn from violet purple to purple to deep dark purple to black. I know I am this blackness, this nothingness, this allness. This pitch dark light here in, is in the earth and at the same time the universe. It is in you and around you. There has been a lot of programming in your collective about this blackness, of skin, of feminine, like the black in the yin yang. This blackness is programmed as something to be afraid of, and it affects the way you handle the unknown as well, as that can feel like a void, a black hole, that will be the end of you. But before we get into that, can you feel me here, my deep purple presence, my warm resting fragrance in this black womb space? This is how I feel my core always held in a warm womb of potent black light. Now rise again back to the surface of the earth with me, where we were having our tea in the middle of adversity. So you see how this camp space is created. It's the energetic field I resonate from my core outwards. That provides me the space to choose not to run or fight or flight, but to decide to sit and enjoy my meeting with you. Yes, you who listen. You are finding your way back to this inherent freedom of choice. So let's look into that. Take a look around you. Can you see the running is an effect of fear? Fear to meet whatever is in your moment. And before you meet it, it's unknown. Yes, it could be anything. You hear? Anything. So why feel fearful of meeting your unknown? First thing around meeting your unknown, make it specific. The unknown is being approached as if it were this fearful mythic creature that nobody has seen for centuries, but that you got to watch out for. That's impossible to meet. Feel the programming. Let's break that down. What are you invested in in your life that hasn't manifested yet? What do you hold hopes around but is still uncertain? Your unknown has a face, a name, an age, a story, all very specific. Not some doom clouding the sky, but something you can invite into our camp here. And how you would like to be met goes around. So in your mind, if you know the face of your unknown, ask them if they want to sit with you 
for a breather, for a moment of pause, of peace. And if that feels like a yes, ask them if there's anything they need. Tea is always a great option, physical or not. And now, let's sit, the three of us, in silence. Most important piece I will bring to you today is slow down. Sit with what you don't know. Walk with what you don't know. Brush your teeth with what you don't know. In silent presence, get familiar being side by side. That's how you slow down and how the dusty sediments of your busyness, the thinking, the fixing, the preventing, the preparing, will settle and ground, stabilizing every reaction that comes up for you in meeting your moment. Because let's be honest, every moment is new and unknown, no matter how many seemingly fixed settings surround you. That's okay, because it is true. It's the ground under your feet that carries you. It's the blackness holding you. Every moment is a blank page, or rather, a black light page filled with potency. It holds the whole spectrum of poss possibilities in front of you. Magnificent, right? including the possibility of experiencing fear. It's your right, a possibility that belongs to you. The very same goes for anything else on the spectrum. In this very moment now, as you are listening, do something you wouldn't expect of yourself, but that belongs to your possibilities of the moment. Throw your hands in the air like you just don't care. Jump. Make a non-existing sound. It all belongs to you. Shake loose that magnetic focus on fear. Can you feel the air here? This is where you meet your freedom. In the blackness of the unknown. The unknown is your birthright. It is your freedom, your choice. It was packed and wrapped in fearful stories, most of them either untrue or rooted in the past, not in the now. So sit with your unknown until it tells you the story of possibilities. It is in fact possibility you are meeting. A higher possibility that you weren't aware of until this moment. That is called evolution. That is true future. So, now we've had our kappa. Now we know we're safe in this sanctuary camp here. Maybe you can look your newfound friend in the eye. Maybe they're already looking at you openly. Maybe even smiling with warm love. Take your time, dear one, as you venture this movement from looking down to looking up into the eyes of what's in front of you. What if it is all you ever hoped for? Life wants to love you, you know. And you're worthy of it, of all the beautiful colours of the spectrum, all the beautiful qualities of life. You are here, present in this moment of life, because you're a gift in it. You wouldn't be here if you weren't a precious part in the unfolding of the unknown. Can you meet that? If you look close enough in the eyes that meet you, you see your own reflection in there. The fact that you are the colours of the spectrum, 
resonating outwards on this earth? What if you set up your own camp in that space? What if everyone did? And that was the end of this message. Yes, take that in. That is quite the practice, at least for me it is. Beautiful. Before I fall completely into silence, um, for those of you who want to travel on with lavender, I will leave the deep dive with plant spirits link in the description below. And another link if you're walking with something you would like the plants to speak on. I wish you the space to set up camp wherever you want. And I will connect again with you in the next episode. Until then.